Hi guys, this is Saurav. In the last tutorial, we learned how to add items in shopping list. In this tutorial, we will learn how to remove items from the list and store this items in our mobile phone permanent. Okay, so here we go. First, I'm going to design my buttons. So I'm going to change background color for adding to something green. Okay, uh, now I'm going to use your tile. I love tile color. Oh, where is it? It's something like. Okay, done. And for remove, I'm going to use red. And for clear all, I'm going to use something pink. Fine. Now that's the design here. You can see that's my app here. Now you can see here whenever I'm going to add something like apple or you see whenever I'm click on remove there is nothing will happen fine so I'm going to code here in this button here in remove button so first you will see we have to rename this button so you can rename this button I, I already have renamed it remove btn go to the block section now here we will right click on remove button and whenever someone click on this button so what will happen we have to just write here remove i list item see like this now from which list we have to remove the item so we have a global list so you can see here get global shopping list now second we have to remove the item so which item we have to remove that's the list we are not going to remove uh, the all items from the list we are going to uh, here remove only one item so that's the index so we have to point we are going to remove the first item from the list so you have to just type here one if you are using array so don't be confused here first item means one okay now we have to update this list also so i'm going to copy paste this set list item list view dot element to global list and store this value again to tiny db right simple so we have removed successfully let's test this so i already have entered something i am going to enter or something like orange or mango and mango 6 7 etc and you will see here item whenever i'm click on remove one you will see first index it means first one is orange this one is remove whenever whenever i'm click on remove again you will see orange will remove fine click on again and again you can add items here again like this fine now we are going to code for clear all okay so what we need to do you need to click on button 3 it means that one is button 3 i'm going to rename it clear ptn click on ok go to the block now whenever someone click on clear ptn what we will do we have to set this global list as a empty list so what we will do set global list to this one create empty list fine we have set this empty list to our in a global, global variable now we have to set the element copy and paste from here like this and we are going to store this value it means nothing in database to display it fine now i'm going to just run this i already have run this up let's test it apple car bike and i'm going to click on clear all you will see all all items are gone right now fine now the most important thing how to save this data whenever you close your app your data will remove from this app so how to store this data so there is one thing whenever you store this data this data will store in your phone but we have to fetch this data from our phone so how to do this so whenever we open our app it means our screen will in a slice it means when 
screen one dot in a slice drag and drop this then we have to set copy and paste this set list view one dot item list two but which item we have to set here we have to get the value from team tiny db so click on tiny db and you will see here get drag and drop this here like this and which tag we have to get so we already have you know that that's the tag here we store the value or all value all list in this tag list tag and the important thing is we have to set this in our list so what we will do set global list to list view so click on list view item and list view dot elements like this so I'm going to build this app okay provide QR code and download this app and install this app so here you can see that's the app here now I'm going to click on this app and you will see I'm going to uh, add some items here okay and uh, I'm going to close this app fine like this okay now I'm going to open this app again and you will see the value is here fine so this value is saved in your own mobile phone fine so that's very easy way to create an app for your shopping list if you have any doubt you can ask me on comment thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video share this video and if you have any doubt you can on you can comment on this video have a nice day be safe bye bye